welcome back. If you want to add more to your knowledge about power system, this is what you want to follow. If you haven't watched our previous video and want to know that, what we will be covering in our course and what has already been covered, make sure to watch our previous video. So friends, with that being said, let's get to today's topic, which is generation of electrical energy. We all know energy exists in different forms in nature. And guess what? It's never wasted, but it gets converted from one form to another. This conversion of energy which is available in nature into electrical energy is called generation of electrical energy. It could be potential energy of water, fuels, chemical energy, radioactive substance. As you can see in the picture, it shows that for generation of electrical energy, uh, it's essential to imply the necessary equipment. As you can see in the picture, the arrangement for generation of electrical energy essentially implies an alternator coupled to the prime mover. The prime mover is driven by the energy from energy sources in the nature, such as wind. Now, with that being said, let's jump up to our next topic, which is source of energy. As we have said, that energy is available in different forms in nature. Now, we would love to look into the different source of energy, which are source of energy. These sources are sun, wind, water, fuel, nuclear energy. Now, let's start with the first source of energy, which is sun. The nature has done us great mercy by providing us different source of energy. One of them is sun, which is the primary source of energy. The heat energy radiated by sun can be focused over a small area of reflectors, which then can be used to rise steam and electrical energy can be produced with the help of turbine alternator combination. However, this source of energy has got some limitations, which are it requires large area of generation, cannot be used in cloudy days or night, and overall it's an economical method. So now, wind this energy can be used where wind flows for a considerable length of time it is used to run the wind miles which drives a small generator in order to obtain the electrical energy energy from a wind mile continuously the generator is arranged to charge the batteries these batteries supply the energy when the wind stops this method or this source of energy has got uh, some great advantages which are maintenance and generation costs are neg negligible but it has got some disadvantages as well which are variable output unreliable because of uncertainty about wind pressure and the last one would be power generation is quite small now water water or hydropower in order to use the potential energy stored in water, we need to create headwater by storing water in suitable places. Then we can convert the potential energy stored in water into mechanical energy with the help of water turbine. The turbine will then drive the alternator which will convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Now, fuels. The main sources of energy are fuels, such as solid fuel as coal, liquid fuel as oil and gas fuel as natural gas. The heat energy of this fuel is converted into mechanical energy by suitable prime mover such as steam engines, steam turbine, internal combustion engine. The prime mover drives the alternator which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Now nuclear energy. It's estimated that 1 kg of Nuclear energy is equal to 4,500 tons of coal. The heat produced can be utilized to rise steam with suitable arrangement. The steam can run the steam turbine, which in turn can drive alternator to produce electrical energy. Now with that being said, let's bring in our circle of energy utilization. As we can see, this whole area, which is our coal, it shows that the maximum energy used for generation of electrical energy is coal. And in second place, it's curd. And in our third place, it's our renewable energy. And in fourth place, I guess, uh, natural gas and nuclear power are used almost equally. And in our f uh, fifth uh, place, it's hydroelectric uh, energy or hydroelectric power. And that brings us to the end of our today's uh, video. 
uh, thank you for bearing with me uh, i hope you got something and uh, don't forget to like subscribe share and comment below hit that bell icon so you will be the first to see our upcoming videos thank you so much for watching bye